Hey guys. <clears throat> what is this? Okay. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's look is just going to be a just like a fresh face. This is my go-to, my new go-to look. I've only worn this like five times out. But I do like it. It's very simple. It's very easy wearing. You don't have to wear false lashes if you don't want to. You can change up the lip color. It's all about what you want in this uh, look. But I just did a basic skin highlight contour brows everything's just a little basic with some lashes inner corner highlight maybe a little crease definition and then a nice pink lip this look can go with any hair color any skin tone any outfit any lip color any hair color any 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 this is just a nice nice everyday look this you can wear this to school you can wear this on a day you do you boo with this look all right so with that being said i hope you follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter i hope that you subscribe to this channel and i will start putting up more videos sorry guys like i'm so bad like it's been the hottest minute ever but a lot of people have been asking me to post something and this is just like an easy look to post for you guys so with that being said give this video a huge thumbs up and if you'd like to see how i got this go to makeup look then just keep watching Alrighty, first we're going to start off by moisturizing our skin. We're going to use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I use this all the time. Then we're going to fill in the brows. We're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in medium brown. And I'm going to use this angle brush to apply it and go with the spoolie through my brows in the upwards, outwards direction so my brow hairs are combed the way I want them to look. And then I'm going to take the angled um, brush here with my dip brow pomade and I'm going to do tiny brow hair like strokes underneath my brow and then I'm going to fill in the tail. My brow hairs are very sparse near the end of my brow, so I'm going to make sure I fill them in. And then I'm going to go back in with the spoolie to brush them out and blend the product in with my brow hairs. Alrighty, so now we're going to conceal the under eye and clean up my brows using the NYX Conceal uh, palette that I have. I'm going to take the um, flat concealer brush by Bare Minerals. This is going to help carve out my brows and give it that nice sharp look. I really like this um, sharp brow approach, I guess you could say, just because it really frames the eye and pulls the entire look together. Now we're going to start by priming and we're going to use the Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced. It's a very moisturizing primer. It really, really wakes me up in the morning when I'm feeling down, you know. But we're going to... Um, conceal the under eye using that salmon shade in the NYX concealer palette that I use. This is just going to cancel out all the dark circles I have underneath the eye and really brighten my face up and make me look more awake. And then we're just going to give that a nice finger blend so it blends into the skin nicely. Now we're going to go in with that uh, shade right there on the top right hand column. That's going to uh, conceal the redness around my nose and my acne scarring I have on my face so it doesn't appear through my foundation. And then we're going to give that a quick finger blend. Now we're going to go into found. Oh, psych. I lied. Now we're going to conceal my eyelids just because my eyelids do have a little discoloration on them. And I don't want that to peep through any foundation, concealer, tiny bit of shadow we're going to be using today since we're not doing a full shadow look. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Concealer in the shade 228 Soft Tan. I'm going to just dot that all over my face with that concealer brush I used to carve out my brows and apply my uh, color correcting cream concealer. And then we're going to blend that in with the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, the Beauty Sponge Damp. I made sure that it was damp so it blends the foundation in nicer. This is a very full coverage foundation in my opinion and I like full coverage because my face is a total different shade than my neck if you can see. So I make sure that I blend it all down my neck, all over my face. Just give that a nice, nice full coverage look. And I like the natural look the Miracle Sponge gives the foundation on my skin. 
But now we're going to conceal. We're going to use the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade Light Warm. It's a really, really light compared to my skin, but that's what we have the Miracle Sponge for. It's really going to blend that into my skin and make it, my entire face look a little lighter because I do look like really kind of orange right now. But we're going to just take that, and I like to blend the outer portion of the concealer that's underneath my eyes in that triangle formation out and then I bring it in so most of the product stays right underneath my eye because if I blend from the inner corner of my eye out the foundation or the concealer will move out of where I wanted it to be and that just defeats the purpose of placing it there with the applicator but I'm just going to blend um, all of that highlights and we're going to move on to contour I'm going to use the Fit Me Foundation Stick in Toffee 330. I'm going to use that in my contour places that I usually will contour is my forehead, underneath my cheekbones, give my, ni my nose a nice contour, and then apply it underneath the lower lip so I look like I have a more plump lower lip. Then we're just going to take the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge and give that a blend in. This just gives a natural contour look in my opinion. Then we're going to set the concealer that we use today with the Cody Airspun Powder that I got from Walgreens. It's a $7-$8 dollar loose setting powder, but it is bulletproof. It will keep the concealer on my face all day. And even through sweat, humidity, rain, etc., it really, really, really makes it bulletproof on my face. And then we're going to use that powder to help with the nose contour. This is really going to help guide where I want my nose contour and brighten the areas on my nose that need to be light and etc. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to use my Morphe E24 brush, I believe, and just set the rest of my face so none of my foundation moves throughout the day because I have oily combination skin. So my foundation might slightly move throughout the day and this will prevent that from happening if I apply it just all over my face real quick. And then I did also apply that Cody Airspun powder on my eyelids because we're not going to be going in with a lot of shadow today. So I'm just going to set my eyelids that had concealer on it. Um, we're going to bronze the helmet of my forehead, my five head actually, and we're going to bronze the cheekbones with that large powder brush. I use the Bake Bronzer by Milani and 05 Soleil. I've used this in all my other videos. You guys already know what is up. You already know. But we're just going to do windshield wiper motions and circular motions to give that a blended bronzer look. And we're going to bronze the chin jaw area because... I want to be bronzy. Now we're going to go into the Hula Bronzer by Benefit with the little applicator they gave me. It's a really nice um, contour brush that they gave me. And the great thing about this bronzer is that it's cool tone, so it's awesome for contouring because contours in the face naturally are a cooler tone. And I'm going to use the Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques to uh, finish my nose contour. And then I'm just going to wipe away that powder and blend in the rest of the product. Now I'm going to take the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush with that Cody Airspun Powder. Set my eyelids one more time just, just for the fun of it, you guys. Just for the fun of it. And then we're going to take Blanc Type by MAC. Apply that all over the lids with a flat shader brush. And then go in with the Hula Bronzer to uh, define my crease. We're not using a lot of shadow in this look because then again, this is my go-to everyday look. And every day, I'm not going to want to put on a lot of eyeshadow, to be completely honest with you. Especially if I'm running late, this is a good, good makeup look to just do last minute, I guess. Now we're going to go in with blush, and I'm actually going to use eyeshadows to do my blush today. We're going to use my Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush with the three shades Poppy, Fiesta, and Morocco on my cheeks. We're going to put that Hula Bronzer underneath the lash line and then set the entire face with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. The act it's actually the long-lasting one. I don't, I don't know why I said that. But now we're going to go into highlight. Highlight's my favorite part. We're going to go into the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the sun-dipped one, and we're going to apply Summer and Moonstone to my face using a Morphe M501 brush. This is an awesome brush to apply highlight because it spreads it evenly and packs it on there at the same time. Give myself a highlight mustache and apply the highlight also to my brow bone using an angled shadow, eyeshadow brush and a pencil brush to apply it to the inner corners. We're going to use a, a miracle sponge to help this highlight look a little more natural. Then I'm going to apply mascara. Of course, you could stop here if you don't want to put on false lashes, but you know, I'm not going to 
not wear lashes. I wear lashes almost every day. And the lashes I'm using today are the Vegas Nay lashes in the style Grand Glamour. I got them from Ulta. And the lash glue I also got from Ulta. It's the Duo Lash Glue with vitamins in it. I really don't use it for the vitamins. I use it just because the applicator is an easy way to apply the glue to the lash band. I'm going to wait 30 seconds for that lash glue to chillax. And then I'm going to apply it to the lash line in the center. And then tug on the inner and outer parts of the lash band to apply it to the eye. These lashes are very extravagant so to speak so you definitely don't have to go with lashes this this glamorous I guess you could say you can use Ardell Demi Wispies if you please I'm also going to line my lips with the L'Oreal color rich lip liner I don't actually know the color of it I'll put it in the description box but I'm going to do a little lip contour today by shading in the outer corners of my eye giving my upper lip a V now I'm going to apply the matte liquid lip by Too Faced and then we are finished with this look Alrighty guys, that is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, you can switch up the lip color to whatever that you prefer. You don't you can even go with a gloss no lip color it's all about you but i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up the biggest thumbs up ever right next to that go ahead and subscribe to this channel i need more subscribers i need your support and if you want to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter the links will be in the bio and i really hope that you enjoyed this video with that being said i'll see you in my next video bye